Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Work Tech. We've got some more exciting industry news for you today. Uh, this time about two companies uh, that many of you will know in our space coming together in the world of talent acquisition. And I'm excited for this news. I think it's a really interesting deal. Um, any of you who know who's on the screen with me here today, we've got Liz Wessel of Way Up and Dan Bartfield of Yellow. And um, I'm going to let them introduce themselves, tell you about their companies, and then we'll talk about the deal and the market. And let's start with Liz. Liz, tell everybody about yourself and Way Up. Sure. Thank you so much for having us, George. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Liz Wessel, uh, co founder and CEO at Way Up. We are a uh, platform that helps employers achieve their DEI hiring goals. We focus most at the early career level, zero to five years of experience, but across the board, really just focused on ensuring companies can, uh, can hire uh, the most you know, diverse and qualified new talent base for their companies. Great. And Dan? Hi, hey, everyone. Thank you, George, for having us as, as well. Uh, my name is Dan Bartfield, co founder of Yellow. Uh, uh, we've been in the industry since 2008. Um, Yellow is a platform that really focuses on early talent. And our goal is to give our clients the ability to hire more effectively um, by giving them automation and intelligence. At the end of the day, what we try to do is make sure our, our recruiting teams can really focus on recruiting instead of the mundane work of administration. And we have a platform that has a CRM, event-based tools, interview scheduling, as well as automation and workflows. Um, so real excited to be here, George, and looking forward to talk a little bit more about how Way Up and Yellow are coming together. Great. Well, I, I'm, you know, congrats to both of you on this merger. Um, I'm excited about uh, a couple of things in the market right now. One is there's sort of a renewed interest in um, both early careers um, and focusing there in, in new ways, as well as diversity, equity, inclusion. And I, you know, I have to say that um, on, I track all of the VC in the, in the space. And while VC has been coming into the market more into that category, I should say, diversity, equity, inclusion, uh, more consistently, it's still been um, you know, disappointing as, as far as the total vol dollar volume. Um, so when I see something like this, um, it, it gets me excited about uh, what what you're all doing. So, um, so that said, let's let's dig into the deal. What, why, why now? What, what's going on in the market that uh, that that brought you your two companies together? And and you know what what's happening where where you what makes this an idea that you pursue? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll take a, a shot at that. And Dan, please add anything I miss. Um, so, you know, we've been around for seven years. We just celebrated our seven year anniversary. And we've been really focused on DE&I for the last, let's call it five years of those seven years. And never have we seen the market care this much about DE&I, about diversity, equity, and inclusion as we do today. I mean, our company, three years ago, when we asked customers or potential customers, what's your DE&I recruitment budget? The answer was nada. And now all of a sudden, everyone has an answer. And that is so incredibly exciting. I mean, just if we step back, what a rewarding thing to hear about our industry, about companies throughout the US. Yeah. But to see that level of growth and companies really caring has been so exciting. And so Way Up has now had four record-breaking quarters in a row. We've been growing like crazy, so excited. However, there's something we're missing. It's the fact that companies are using Way Up to source all this diverse talent, but they're sending them often into this like ATS black hole that I'm sure every recruiter watching can totally resonate with, or the CRM black hole. And so we started to say, all right. We want to look for a platform or build ourselves a platform that can really have a lot of that automation workflow that can have, um, you know, truly a, a great CRM where everyone has a shot at getting hired. Something that takes a lot of, as Dan said, the mundane work off of the recruiters, but still creates an equitable hiring experience. And so we started to look for that. And the obvious answer is, well, everyone kind of knows in the space, yellow is that paired with the fact that. In the last year and a half, companies have been forced to go virtual, which has definitely benefited our business. And I think a lot of uh, candidates out there who didn't really love going to career fairs, didn't have time to go to career fairs. Um, but we all know that after the pandemic, most companies are going to go back to a hybrid approach and, and way up has a gap in that we don't have any kind of physical event product. And so yet again, another checkbox for yellow. So I started chatting with 
Dan and, and Corey um, at Yellow, and it just became pretty obvious that there were so many synergies. Um, Dan, anything to add? Yeah, yeah. I mean, diversity has always been a challenge for our, our clients in hiring diversity. And it is literally now the number one reason why uh, these our large enterprise clients do early talent recruiting. And we've been watching way up and talking to Liz and JJ for, for a while now, and them being the number one in the space, it just made sense to inject that into uh, the yellow platform and give our clients the ability to have access to that information seamlessly. And that's what gets me really excited is the fact that not only do we have the platform that is the best in breed in early talent, now we're taking best in breed in sourcing specifically DE&I and injecting that within to yellow to make it, our clients be more effective and more efficient in their recruiting processes. George, isn't it crazy though that there's never, I, I have yet to find a CRM that has sourcing or a sourcing platform that has a true CRM. I'm not talking like a landing page with a spreadsheet, but a true CRM. Um, so I'm really excited and I can't believe the market hasn't done this before. Just my yeah. curiosity. Yeah, it seems that the uh, the sort you know sourcing is has definitely been in its own box, if you will. Um, and there's a lot of integration that happens. For a long time, um, uh, platforms, uh, really wanted to stay out of sourcing because, you know, the, the, if you look back 10 or 15 years ago, as the trends changed, the sourcing tools changed. So you would be, you know, swapping out, um, but things are, are much more consistent now. I think the technology is uh, much more mature and, uh, 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 you know, case in point way up and you've got um, and an opportunity to really focus on this and and uh, scale with your with your customers so but that's that's a that is a really good point so and, and George at this point as we look at the industry and where it's going um, and you can look at what happened with the pandemic I mean this is a trend that we saw coming yellow saw this coming that companies are going to go to less schools and focus more on a virtual approach and the schools they go to they're going to spend more time and more money, but they need a way to go out there. And what we saw was literally five years worth of adoption happen in a couple months. And then when we plug in what Yellow has now with the way up database, that, that actually ex expedites it even more and gives our clients that greater reach, uh, reach even quicker in a seamless stretch. So you're absolutely right as, as things mature, but I think a lot of it has changed over the last year that made this even more possible to happen. So, so what does the, you know, now that the merger is announced and it's happening, what will that look like on the other side? Uh, I know it's early, but you know, yeah. what, what does the entity look like? Um, you know, is there a new name? Is there new branding? You know, all, all of that stuff. What's, what can we expect? So, so in the short term, there will be yellow will be the will be the company with a way, way up will be part of that uh, organization. So way up will be joining the yellow family brand. Um, okay. Way up will be running as a separate entity for at least the next six months. Um, what I mean by that is it's going to have its own grouping, its own marketing, and over time we'll, we'll bring it to we'll bring it together. Uh, we do not plan on removing the way up name. That brand is very strong in the industry, and we do not want to disturb it. Um, and it is a very powerful with our specifically the the students as well as the employer. So we want to make sure we keep that brand here um, as everyone knows it. Okay. Okay. And, and our team is really just from a team and product perspective, like our team is really excited to be joining uh, the yellow family, if, if not to be corny, but the yellow family. And I think that from a product perspective, we're going to continue, you know, if you want to just use sourcing, that's fine. If you want to just use CRM, that's fine. And the event platform, that's fine. But I do think that for companies that are planning to, to use both, it's going to be a pretty incredible experience. And we know it because so many companies constantly are asking one another, each of us, can you yeah. build the other one's products? So we're really excited <laughs> about that. Well, or how do you then, integrate even quicker, right? So it's how do you get the integration in there? Because at the end of the day, our clients and like Liz's clients just want to go to one platform. And, that, and that's, uh, you've touched on, you know, where my mind goes next, which is to the customer and um you, you've talked a little bit about some synergies here, obviously why the deal is happening, um, but what uh, what can each of your customers or the customers expect from you, you know, day one as you're as you're rolling this out? I would say day one, nothing is changing. We do not want to, you know, we've heard loud and clear from employers that they want to be part of um, they want to be part of the decision around their products that they buy and that are in their suite. 
And we really are for the B2B side, not the candidate side, but for the B2B side of things, the employer side of things, we want to make sure that we're building a product that they're going to find incredibly useful and helpful. So day one, we're not going to surprise anyone. Way up is still the same way up that they had yesterday and, and yellow, the same yellow that they had yesterday. Um, I would say, as Dan mentioned, over the first six months of this partnership of this merger, that's when we're really going to be building out some of the basics, the integrations. There should not be, you know, when a candidate applies for a job on way up with EY or with Crow or with many, one of the many, many um, mutual, you know, employers who use both of our products, um, they should absolutely not have to then click out to a page and have to fill out yet another form. Um, it should be API integration. So there's basics like that, but then there's a lot more complex uh, integrations that I'm, I, I wouldn't want to, our, our head of product to get mad at me. So I won't even speak to you, but I, that I'm really excited about that. I promise I'd love to be back on here with Dan in, in six months to talk about. Cool. And the, the goal is to create that integrate, integrated solution. Um, but once again, keeping the brands separate. So if you just want to use way up, awesome. If you just want to use yellow, we, but we believe together, you'll be more powerful. Exactly. So thinking, you know, about not necessarily the roadmap, I don't want to um, get any, make any product leader nervous, but uh, the vision for, uh, for this, I mean, I, I know that, uh, you know, way up has had an aggressive, um, you know, uh, product roadmap, you just released uh, that analytics product that's, uh, that's really impressive. Uh, I know that yellow, um, while your focus is early career, the capabilities that you've built out um, are really, you know, comprehensive from a CRM and workflow and uh, just hiring, you know, workflow management perspective. And you do have uh, so many of the, uh, almost any, you know, global 1000 employer that I bump into, most are, are using yellow. So, uh, so, you know, can we, Talk for a minute about the vision. Is there, is there a bigger strategy at play um, that you can share or would share? There, there's definitely a bigger strategy in play. Um, we're going to kind of keep it close to ourselves today. But I, one of the things yeah. that we, we are very yellow gonna, of you to keep it to keep it close. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, um, one of the things that we're excited about is that we are a global organization, and most of our clients use us globally. I know uh, way up today is, is focused mainly on the U.S., so there's some opportunity there that we are definitely exploring. But at the end of the day. We want to make sure that we have a fully integrated solution um, that helps uh, our clients be more effective. So when I say that, it, it's it's the platform. Um, but as we look at a global expansion, as we look at different areas that we can do better and, and really help our clients, that's one of the things we, we are focusing on. Um, but I mean, Liz, Way Up and Liz and, and JJ bring such a unique uh, data source to our industry and what our clients are looking for. And if we just look at the short-term vision of just being able to integrate those and make our clients more effective, I mean, at the, what we hear from our clients is they don't want to log into multiple systems. They mm -hmm. don't want to have to go do multiple things. Everyone's got a sourcing tool. Everyone does something, right? But it's the idea is how do I make it more effective? If the adoption's not there, no one's going to ever use it. So what we try to do is just bring it in together. But there's there's a lot that we're looking at as we talk about vision and future um, that we're just starting to, uh, to unpack right now. Yep. The only thing I would add to that from a vision perspective that I am most excited about, um, and I know this is going to sound like a really bold vision um, and a little bit pie in the sky, but I absolutely believe the two of us can do it together if there's any two entities that can do this, is like a Black woman should have the exact same chances of getting hired as a white man. And I believe that you need a lot of um, people have unconscious bias, as we all know. Um, they maybe have lack of resources to be able to attract or even source the, the talent that they're not getting today. And I believe that between the two of our companies, we can make that vision happen. And I know that that's very pie in the sky. And some companies might be looking there, rolling their eyes, watching this, saying that's never going to happen. But you know what? I absolutely not only believe it will, but we have clients who are having that happen today. And uh, we just want to have that happen at a much larger scale. And I know that Yellow and Wyatt combined can make it happen. So that's that's the vision that certainly I signed on the dotted line for. And that's why I'm most excited about this. Well, that's a great vision. And it's a, you know, you, you never get anywhere if you're not navigating towards something, if you're not, if you're not working to, to get to, to reach a destination. And, uh, you know, and I think that really sums up, you know, when I look at the two entities that are coming together here, you know, way up is, you know, very mission driven. And Liz, this, this is the kind of conversation I've had with you several times 
and you know yellow is um, a enterprise execution you know leader and um, you know this uh, this is a, a really good, you know, mixture uh, to to bring together, right? It's uh, and and I can see that the chemistry is is good. So one um, constituency that I never leave out is the employees. So um, is you know, is there any impact on employees, or uh, is there growth coming out of this that uh, that that it, um, employees should expect? Well, we're really excited for our team to be joining Yellow. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I'm really excited about that. Uh, JG and I will be play, playing very key roles in making sure that everything in this merger goes incredibly well. So I'm really excited for um, our team to be joining the Yellow team. Uh, I would say from a growth perspective, I know we're growing right now. We're actively hiring. So if anyone watching this is looking for a job, go check out our careers. <laughs> And I know Yellow is very actively hiring as well, yes. even more headcount than we are. Um, they're also a much larger company than we are. So I think the two uh, combined will continue to grow uh, as we are right now. Dan, anything you'd add? Yeah, there's no impact on the employees. We're every, all the, there's no uh, layoffs or anything like that. Everyone's coming over, which is, which is awesome. And as Liz said, we are actively hiring. So please check out our, our sites and we'll probably have a combined site up there pretty soon. But please check out our, our, our sites. We, we're looking for many different roles. And, uh, and where should folks go to find out more about the deal and more about uh, each of your solutions? Absolutely. So both of our websites, if you go to the yellow website, yellow.co or web.com slash employers, at the very top, there's a banner on each of our websites that is announcing the news. And there's a link there. So as opposed to uh, regurgitating a very long URL right now, feel free to go to either of our <laughs> pages and you'll see a link on the banner at the very top. And just feel free to click that and you can learn more about some of the, the other aspects we're um, you know, excited about. That's great. And I want to thank you both for giving me your time today and bringing your news here. And uh, congrats again on this merger and the best of luck to you both. Thank you so much, George. So much, George. I, I love what, as you know, I love watching all your stuff. So I'm just honored that you're willing and, and excited to cover this because uh, we there's no other outlet that uh, I knew immediately. Dan and I both were like, we got to have George cover this because his audience is just so, you know, that you, everyone watching, you're very uh, early tech adopter. So thank oh, you for watching. Thanks. Thanks for that. I appreciate it. Well, thanks for being here. Well, thank you for having me.